Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast and to the National Maritime Museum in San Francisco, California. This original nautical style building on the city's bay has been recently restored and represented to the public, designed initially by architect William A. Moser III. Initially built in 1936, the established structure was a large-scale WPA or Works Progress Administration project during the Great Depression. Views of the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz Prison are presented through porthole-shaped windows reminiscent of an ocean liner. The public bathing facilities are still located on subterranean levels while above-ground galleries contain and feature maritime artifacts. At a gross square footage of 45,540 square feet, the San Francisco Aquatic Park was one of California's largest WPA construction projects. Time Magazine, in February 6, 1939, described the project as one of the most sophisticated WPA building jobs in the United States. The bathhouse is the most notable structure in the complex and exemplifies the streamlined, modern style of architecture. Several distinguished artists were responsible for the adornment of the exterior and interior of the bathhouse. While the artwork of the aquatic park complex is notable for its quality, it is also significant due to its surreal and abstract forms not commonly found in WPA projects. The work of artist Sergeant Johnson is incorporated into the entrance and back porch of the bathhouse. Johnson was a nationally recognized sculptor and one of only two black artists in California who participated in the WPA program. Under the direction of Hilaire Heiler, an internationally recognized muralist, Johnson depicted abstract and stylized forms of sea life and nautical references by incising lines into green slate panels that surround the main entrance of the building and provide contrast against the white concrete of the building's walls. Directly below the slate panels are multi-level fountains lined with colorful tile mosaics. The design for the back porch continues with the use of maritime motifs rendered in multicolored tile mosaics. The public and critics were overwhelmingly impressed with the artist's work when the building was officially opened on January 22, 1939. 